who needs to know about the emergency evacuation plan of a building? Give me the stakeholders. And we're going to use terminology that you might not be aware of at the beginning. But because I'm excited, because I'm excited about the information that I give in my classroom, guess what's going to happen? You're going to want to know it. <laughs> You're going to want to know it just because I'm excited about it. You know why I'm excited about it, y'all? Because there's been a time when I was the only, I was 18 years old, and I was by myself, and I left home, away from my mama and daddy, and the, and the con protection of my family, my brothers and sisters, they were eight of us. And I was, and I was the baby, knee baby boy. You know my brother, my oldest brothers were letting nothing, letting nothing jump off. Y'all know what I mean by that, don't you? <laughs> That's right. That's my oldest brothers were letting nothing jump off. Matter of fact, I, I, when I was 15 and 16 years old, there would be another young boy walking with me. Still they didn't know. My older brother said, wait, 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 who is this? Ocean. I'm gonna hope they say, oh, they'll tell me, man, shh. I said, where y'all going? Let's finish playing ball. Man, no, he come your older brother. They already know what time it was. You all right as long as you ain't doing nothing to me. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Your awareness extends beyond your family. It extends beyond your classroom setting. It reflects back who you are. Now, let's bring it home in an emergency evacuation. Mr. Ruffin has been asphyxiated by the smoke. He has fallen unconscious because of what? Yes, you go, because he's been, because of fixation, because of suffocation. What does, and now what, what, what has fixated him? The smoke. The smoke. Come on, y'all with me. When you're talking back, I know y'all, we in the same room. Y'all listening to me then. Now I know you with me because you answered it, you answered in the affirmative. That's, what, that's the term we use in the military, y'all. I'm a military too. That's why I'm wearing my Coast Guard, my Coast Guard uh, cap. That's one we wear ball caps in the Coast Guard. So I, you know, I represent. I ain't scared to represent, you know. Not just my hometown, but where I've been at. So I'm representing. So look, so he failed because of asphyxiation of the smoke inhalation. Smoke got trapped in his lungs and and he could on the way. Somebody, somebody translate for the class what I'm saying as I go down. Somebody help me. I can't breathe. Mr. Ruffin's gone. Now y'all, we sitting here together. And then I'm standing here and said, hmm, y'all smell that? Y'all smell that? Yeah. Wait a minute, what you smell? 